Just a little side video deal, explain something. When I went to Montana from California, the outfit I hired on was a pretty big outfit. And uh, when uh, it came winter time and the snow, not on the feed ground because it was packed down, but in the away from the feed ground when cattle had to get up to the feed ground, sometimes the snow was as deep as their belly. Well, and I had to doctor them, but I didn't want to choke them down. So I would just throw a, a, Delvi, a, a blocker or a Delviento and let them walk through it. I just walked behind them in the snow and let them walk through it. And then I'd pick up the two hind legs and lay them down, tie them down and doctor them. That's how I did it. And uh, unbeknownst to me, I didn't think a whole lot of it. It just seemed like the practical thing to do. And uh, I think it was Ron Thompson, he cowboyed with me up there. He called it the California Snow Loop. And uh, it always made me kind of laugh because it's kind of an oxymoron. But I never contested them. But the, the guys that grew up around there had never seen the big loop roping much. That's what they called this shot. So for those of you that are going to winter out up north, this may come in handy for you. And, uh, just remember, it's called the California Snow Loop. The most snow I ever saw in my life was at a ski resort before I went to Montana. <laughs> this is one of the ways to throw it. Get some old cow that's headed for the feed ground. She's not moving real fast because she don't feel good. You just kind of bend her, go on by. Johnny blocker on her and then just follow her let her walk and I would just ride along behind her and she might go 100 feet but if you could just keep your rope on there by the time she got where how many of her feet it took she would walk over that with her front feet and of course when you got to the tail head you just simply dallied and you were already up close and it's pretty much over because, you know, a cow in the winter time, and it's cold, and she's sick, there ain't a whole lot of run in them. So that's one of the ways of throwing that shot. Another shot is the Del Viento, and you can split the loop or throw the whole thing. It doesn't matter. But the, the point is, is when you're doctoring cattle, is especially if it's respiratory, which a lot of times in the winter it is, the object is to keep them alive, not run them to death. So when you have the opportunity... You be as subtle as you possibly can, but you can throw the Del Viento. And just let them drag the rope again, and they'll pull it forward, pull it forward, pull it forward, and then they'll step over it. Just raise your arm, stay short, dally up, and she'll lay down. Now, for those of you that are thinkers, if you get the opportunity, what I did was I'd get my loop set and then I'd have it held up under her belly. Instead of going to the horn right off the bat, I'd just follow her till she got over by the feed ground. Two reasons. A, the snow wasn't as deep, and B, when she gets up, she's on the feed ground, so she might eat something. So that that's the other shot that in that country became known as the snow loop. Roping with Carhartts and mittens should be a event in itself, which all of us that have done that, it's nothing to brag about, but roping with mittens, the Del Viento and a lot of these shots are easier actually because you can just, I'll show you what it looks like to throw a loop with a mitten on. You hold it like this and you swing like this because you're so covered with clothes and you just throw the rope in the air and hope to Christ it lands on them. So that's mitten roping. Okay, and we just heard from a man in Belgium who's a braider. I mean a beautiful braider. And he also follows the California style of bridles and reins and ramals and everything. And it's just awesome work. And his first name is J-A-N. And we hope we're not disrespecting him, but it's either Han or Jan. But either way, hello to you and... Uh, Hope you, I, I know, I'm glad you enjoy the videos is what I'm trying to say. Lonesome but I'm happy.
happy, I'm rich, but I'm broken. The good Lord. 